when the Holy Spirit says it's time to move, it's time to move. You can either move when it's time or you'll miss it. You'll miss it. I want to give a shout out to everybody as we give the most to all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. I don't know who I'm talking to in this particular video, but it was laid heavy in my spirit. Don't let fear in what you went through in the past. Don't let it hinder your future. Don't let it stop you from moving forward. The most high knows when it's time. And so many people miss their blessings because of fear, doubt, the what ifs. Well, what if this don't work? Or what if this don't happen? What if, what if, what if? You won't know until you try. See, it's not the person that tries that fails. It's the person that never tried all. As a matter of fact, in order to succeed, you got to be willing to fail. And if you're not willing to fail, like everything going to happen overnight in the first place, it don't work that way. You know how a lot of people are successful in this life? Because they failed. They failed. They failed. Some failed miserably. I'm reminded of my old neighbor. May the most high rest his soul. He used to get on his nephew because his nephew was working on lawnmowers. And one time he just kept messing with his nephew saying, man, you, I don't know why you keep trying on that lawnmower. You done tried a hundred things and it still ain't working. Why don't you just give up and try something to do? Try something new to do. The nephew said, well, you might be right, huh? He said, but I know it's a hundred things that I have tried that I know that's not wrong with it. He says he want to put it like that. And after a while, he eventually fixed it. See, everybody talk about how beautiful the home runs Babe Ruth hit. Oh, yeah, they talk about it so much for how many years? You can still look it up to this day. But nobody talked about how many times Babe Ruth struck out. Most people that are successful will tell you they struck out a whole lot of times. Because you just don't get stuff right overnight. So when it's your time, don't let that fear inside of you block your blessings. You got to be willing to fail in order to succeed. And I'm going to say this as I close, just a real short video here. The two C's I always talk about, consistent and commitment. Once again, if you don't commit, you won't start. If you don't never get consistent, you won't finish. How did I learn the keyboard? Commitment and consistency. Hard work. Night after night, day after day. How did I learn how to do everything in this life? The Holy Spirit teaching me and being committed and consistent. And then here's another thing I want to tell you. Invest in yourself. Do you believe enough in yourself to invest in yourself? It's not always going to be a shortcut around everything. Sometimes you just got to break down and go ahead and buy it. I don't care what it is that you do. You got to go ahead and invest in yourself. How much do you value yourself? I'm back, y'all. I'm back on camera. So with that being said, I love y'all. Y'all take care and have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.